One last example on this page. Uh, ship A is 2.3 kilometers from a lighthouse. Uh, the distance between it and another ship, we'll call it ship B, is 1.7 kilometers. And the angle between the lighthouse, ship B, and angle A is 66. So it looks like this. We've got a lighthouse and ships A and B. Drawing the triangle, uh, we're told in the first sentence that this distance from the ship A to lighthouse is 2.3. And the distance between them is 1.7. Now it says the angle between the lighthouse Ship B and ship A is 66, so that means this is 66. We're asked to solve the triangle to find all unknown sides and angles. So now, now, once we realize that we know an angle side pair, we can use the sine law with that to find other things in the triangle. We have to first, since we know side L, we can find angle L. We can't find angle A or side A until we first find what angle L is. And then using the fact all the triangle as angles add to 180, we can find angle A. So I'll write sine B over B equals sine L over L and fill in the known values. So angle B is 66, uh, side B is 2.3, uh, side L is 1.7, and there's angle L, so sine of L. So we cross multiply for sine L. Sine L will be the product of 1.7, then the sine is 66 divided by 2.3. We'll change that to a decimal. And it's about 0.6752. And then taking the inverse sine of that, we'll get angle L is about 42 degrees. So we'll put the 42 degrees in the diagram there. Now, we can find this angle, and then we can find side A. So if we subtract 66 and 42 from 180, we'll get angle A to be about 72 degrees. So we'll put 72 degrees in the triangle, and now we can find side A. Since we know everything else, we could use angle L and its opposite side, or angle B and its opposite side. It wouldn't matter. We certainly have to use angle A and side A because we're finding side A. So I'll use uh, uh, sine B over B equals sine A over A. And then filling in the known values, angle B is 66, angle A is 72, side B is 2.3 and we cross multiply to find side A. Side A would be the product of 2.3 and the sine of 72 divided by the sine of 66. And that works out to be about 2.4 kilometers. So this side is 2.4 kilometers. And that's the whole triangle solved.